Hey Ali Al Snickerdoodles, hope you're doing well. So I am back from my reline. This is as close to um, my real teeth as I have felt ever, I guess, really. Um, they fit so well, I have suction on the top. Um, the bottoms stay in. I did just put some adhesive on because I'm going to be eating in about an hour. Um, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to eat properly. Now, my bite is a little bit off. Um, and it's also off a little bit when I'm chewing. So that's actually something I'm going to have to be conscious of for the next couple of days is where my jaw is resting. I'm going to pop up my upper zone. Because. So this is it. This is my upper, it's like super thin, and it's shiny. Um, and the, the gutter there is, is it, I think that's what someone called it, the under there part, um, is really thin and they fit really nicely in my mouth. Um, like they're really comfortable and they don't feel clunky, it doesn't feel like there's too much stuff there. Uh, so this is now going to be me for about a year which is um good i've had my like major bone loss i hope because when i was there she was like oh i haven't seen many people with this amount of bone loss in a year and i was like well, that's not good um yeah with with chewing evidently like i tend to do this uh, to that. i had no idea and now i have to be conscious of it i'm also still kind of um, working um, my muscles and my tongue around new dentures which is you know that it does take some getting used to with each with each reline and and where your tissues are moving to and where like it, your tongue is like way more involved how's that than that I have always expected so anyway I'll tell you the, okay, so when they do the reline, she grinds everything down and then she like, it's neat because it's almost like she's melting wax, which is probably exactly what it is, um, around where she needs to seal it. And then she fills them and puts them in and it's like a bit of a process and she's kind of doing this and that. Y'all. Okay, so obviously she overfills them a little bit not a ton but she overfills them a bit and it's this weird purple stuff and I don't know what it is it's some kind of mold making I don't know but it tastes really bad and it got all over my face I mean it tastes bad enough that I was like why don't companies at least try can they try? Because this is awful and I've got to have this in my mouth for a while. She gives me a mirror at the end of it. Now, I don't have my teeth on and so I'm not really, like, looking. Um, I have this purple stuff all over my face. She's like, it, it comes off. It just, you're going to really have to work it off. Okay. All right. I literally looked like I was having a skin peel and it was really efficacious for waxing my upper lip evidently but there it, it revealed one really big hair that was terrifying I have a little more um I'm a little jollier um but gosh these are comfortable I didn't realize how painful my teeth had been like my denture had been holy hannah so yeah it's great i know it's hard to afford um i know there's a number of us it, honestly if you're having trouble holy cow like i had to borrow money to get this done um start saving up for it if you have to get it done soon because it is a world of difference because these are now my permanent dentures they've got the hard liner I don't even have a tissue conditioner in here it's just a straight hard acrylic um, and right now they're fitting beautifully so I hope you can do this if this is your next step or if you are you know still in the early stages where it's so frustrating all of the time um, 
it gets really good. Like, getting great to a point where I don't really have to think about eating. And I'm, I want y'all to be there. Because <laughs> this is really good. I do feel like I look about five years older, but that's okay. I'll just dye my hair an extra bright shade of blue. But at least now I don't have to wax. Have a great day, y'all.